Today I'm going to share my Sephora VIB haul, but before I jump into that, Ulta also recently had a 20% off coupon, and usually Ulta's coupons have so many exclusions, but this one you could actually use on prestige brands. So I purchased two things. The first is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness, and this is a neutralizing correcting cream, and it's supposed to help with redness around the face, and you can use it either by itself or you can use it underneath a foundation. So the packaging is not my favorite. It's a little bit of a messy jar packaging, but the reviews of this are amazing. And I do really struggle with a ruddy complexion, so I'm excited to see if that will work for me. The other thing I purchased from Ulta, um, during these like 20% off either at Ulta and Sephora, I always try to buy a Clarisonic brush head because I know I'm gonna have to buy those and it's nice to get the percentage off. And for the past couple of years, I've been using the Deep Pore Cleansing Brush Head, but I noticed they came out with some new ones that I thought sounded interesting. This is called the Clarisonic Luxe Cashmere Cleanse High Performance Facial Brush Head. So it feels really nice, and the back of the packaging says that it's supposed to help with hydration in the skin. And I'll probably talk about this in a later video, but I've been really struggling with dry skin lately. So my current brush head has like two more days on it before it needs switching, but then I'm gonna put this one on and I will let you know how it works. One thing I have wanted from Sephora for the past few months, but in the back of my mind, I knew that the VIB sale was probably gonna be in November. So I put off purchasing until I could get the sale price. And it is a brush kit from the Sephora brand and it is called the Dual Action Brush Set. And it include eight brushes and most of them are duo fiber. And my reason for purchasing this is I haven't quite found the perfect brush for applying my Illamasqua Cream Pigment in Hollow, which is what I like to use to contour my face. And duo fiber brushes just seem really good at applying a light amount of color. And while I like the look of contoured skin, sometimes it can look a little bit much on my fair complexion. So I'm hoping that some of these brushes, especially this kind of flat top one, I've been using that and I really like it so far. I've washed the brushes twice and I've only had just a tiny bit of shedding on one of the brushes. Also the one um, that's kind of domed, I've been using to apply my cream blush and it has been working really nicely. The only one I'm a little bit kind of don't know about is the mascara brush. What is that one called? It is called the mini mascara fan brush. I've never used a mascara fan brush before, so I haven't tried that yet. Um, we'll see if I get brave and try that out one day. So my first purchase from Sephora was the dual action brush set. During the VIB sale, I made my first purchase from Marc Jacobs Beauty. And when that line first released at Sephora, the only thing that really called to me were the brushes. I thought they looked amazing and luxurious, but the price was crazy. So I've always kept two of the brushes on my little Sephora wish list that you can kind of organize online. And the two are the Face 2 brush and the bronzing brush. So with the 20% off, I decided to let myself purchase one and I went with the cheaper of the two and that is the Face 2 brush. And this is the Sculpting Foundation Brush. And I've been using it the past couple days. I washed it last night and I told myself not to use it this morning so I could show it to you clean, but it was like painful. Like I wanted to use it so badly. What I think is so neat about this brush is how it's kind of angled and it makes it really nice to apply foundation. It is a little bit larger than my other foundation brushes, but for my face that works really well. It's really fast to get all the product on my cheeks and on my forehead. So I love this and it's kind of dangerous because now I want the bronzing brush, but that one is kind of crazy expensive. So I might have to put that one on my birthday wish list. My other purchase from Marc Jacobs is the Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in the shade 42 Blacker. And I bought this to use in my upper waterline and tightline just to intensify that area and make my lashes look thicker. And I actually saw this product in a review video by Lauren Redhead PhD. And in that video, she tells you everything you could possibly want to know about this eyeliner. And she even includes a graph comparing it to other black eyeliners that she has. So I will link that video down below if you're interested in this product. I did purchase a mascara thanks to your input. I went with the YSL Baby Doll and I got it in the shade Black. And I've only used it once so it's too soon to tell but the time I used it I really did like how long and defined it made my lashes look. Moving into the nail polish section of the haul, first I purchased the Formula X by Sephora and I got the complete system. And when you see this packaging in store, this one right here is left 
empty. And you can choose what whichever of the Formula X polishes you would like. So it comes with a cleanser, a base coat, the polish of your choice, and then a top coat. And I will say this was not love at first application, but I think it was user error. I think I used too much of the base coat and it just couldn't dry. So when I went to put the polish on, it just kind of became messy and muddy. So I removed it all and started fresh and I used a lot less of the base coat, let it fully dry and then put the shade Thrilling two coats of that and then the top coat. And so far I love how shiny it is. I've only had it on two days and it looks great so far. Usually I see chipping or wear around the fourth day so it'll be a little bit longer before I can tell you. But I purchased the shade Thrilling because I follow Makeup by Tiffany D on Instagram and she had a really pretty nail combination with Thrilling all over and then this shade called Meteoric just on her accent nails. So that's what I'm wearing today and I love how it looks. The other nail polish I bought is from Ciate and this is in the shade, it's Oat in Here. And this is a gorgeous glitter full of red, black, and white glitter particles. And I thought this would be so pretty over a black nail polish, especially as we're getting ready to move into like the Christmas time. I thought it would be so pretty. So I'm sure I will use this soon and I usually post my nails of the day on Instagram. Last but not least, I did redeem 100 points for the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in the shade 03 Mightiest Maraschino. And I already have two of the Chubby Sticks Intense and I love them. And I thought this color was beautiful, a very high shine cherry red. So I thought this was well worth the points. That is all for this haul. I did actually buy some of the gift sets and palettes, but those are all Christmas and birthday presents. So I didn't wanna include them in this haul, but I will be doing a gift guide in the later part of November. So you can be on the lookout for that. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you in my next video.